my channel. I really hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have this little get ready with me chit chat. Um, I'm just updating you on what's been going on, why I haven't been uploading, but yeah, if you want to know how I got this look as well as what's been going on in my life, then just keep on watching. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. Um, this is the Prime uh, Prime Set Refresh. It's the Replenishing pri uh, Primer and Setting Spray. And I'm just going to use this as my primer today. But then it starts like drying down. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, so it starts drying down and then it like gets like tacky and it's like perfect to like apply your foundation. You can see I already did my eyebrows off, off camera um, just because I can't get used to like doing them on camera. I don't know why. And for my foundation I'm using the Born This Way um, Too Faced foundation and mine is in the color Vanilla. And I'm just using a L'Oreal... Um, sponge. The reason that I didn't like put up videos because I, I have pre-filmed like four videos is because I, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I work for an after school program and I, it's like a before and after school program and where I used to work before, um, it's, it was about 30 minutes from my house. Um, so because I used to work like before and after school program, I had to either pre-record my videos and um, like edit them when I stayed over there because it was so far from my house that I didn't come down to where I live. I would just stay in my office over there at the school that I used to work at and it was it became like a lot to like do. Um, I started like losing interest in a lot of things that I like just because I didn't have like that time. Yeah, I had that like four hours in between my shifts, but because I stayed at like the place that I worked, um, I don't know. I just I just didn't feel like editing, and it was just I don't know. I just started losing interest in the things that I liked, and when they said that they were gonna take like the company that I worked for. Um, they were going to take over uh, some schools that are like literally like less than five minutes from where I live. I applied or I told my um, my boss or my supervisor um, that if, if it was possible for me to transfer. And just because it was, to be honest, it was just like too much stress and like driving every day 30 minutes and not having time for me basically, even though I did have that break. It was my first year as a supervisor for the after school program and that was like my first site and there were a lot of like components that I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna be moved. Um, and so after, I think after like a week and a half, um, they told me that I was gonna transfer and then I started like um, transfer, or not transferring, but I started like, um, transitioning out of being in that school into coming back to a district because they used to work for a charter school and so it was a little bit different so um that happened and then um when I transitioned out of the charter school it was we we're going to start a new it was going to be a completely new program and we had to like you know start everything basically and it was just it was really exciting and, and, and it took all of my time during the day to like do that and it was just a YouTube wasn't a focus right then and there it was just it was too much going on and I like I get I got overwhelmed with having my YouTube and then you know like doing like my job it was just I don't know it was just too much and I remember I was super stressed because YouTube I love doing YouTube and it's just like filming videos and editing them and just like being part of the community like I like it and having um, and you know making friends and everything I just I love that part and when I got moved I, I was like okay I'm gonna make a plan like I live like the where I work I live five minutes away from where I work and it's just amazing that I'm able to come back here and like I'm able to film again and you know like have uh, be even more consistent with my YouTube because like I said it's something that I really really enjoy and it's just it's a really fun hobby for me and 
makeup like I love makeup and everybody that knows me like in my personal life like knows that I I love makeup and YouTube for me it started like I want to say like almost four years ago um I wasn't consistent with it just because you know like I used to live with my sister oh for my concealer I'm taking the Tarte uh, shade tape in the color fair neutral and when I first started my YouTube I wasn't consistent at all um, I used to live with my sister, so I didn't have my own place, and then I got married, and then um, I stopped filming altogether, and then I got supervisor, and then that's when I got moved over there 30 minutes away from here from my job, um, and then I'm back. Like, I'm so excited um, because now there's, like, no excuse for me to, like, not film, um, and, you know, like, I love doing videos. I love, like, filming I was gonna go to like Generation Beauty and uh, BeautyCon because I really wanted to see Nicole Guerrero and actually one of my husband's friend, she's into like makeups um, as well. So she went and she sent me like pictures of like Nicole and like I saw her blog and uh, it was so much fun. I wish I, I wish I knew um, before like because I found out the dates. Um, I want to say like a, that same week that it was going to be and it was a two day for the beauty con. I did go like three years ago I think um, and to be honest it wasn't the best experience. I did buy the one with the passes or like the meetups and it was just, an, it wasn't like a good experience to be honest. And then when I went to Generation Beauty, um, I really liked it um, but there was too, so many people inside and then it started raining it was just it was a mess i'm gonna be setting my under eye with the rcma uh, no color powder i'm gonna be using that powder as well to like set my face and i'm just taking this puff from uh laura mercier what have you guys been up to um do you guys like the new taylor swift song i Everybody that knows me, I love Katy Perry, and I'm so excited for her tour and everything, but uh, Taylor Swift's is song, the new song, it's so, like, catchy. Do you guys watch the BMAs? I didn't. Uh, we don't have cable here, like, in my house, because uh, we only watch, like, Netflix. Um, oh, we did start watching um, Better Call Saul, Love. <laughs> I was very like skeptical I didn't want to watch it and I remember like my husband was like let's watch the first episode and if you don't like it then we'll just stop watching it and I was like <sighs> okay because I loved Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is one of my favorite uh, shows. I love it uh, but I don't know like Better Call, Better Call Saul like I don't know why I like I don't know like it didn't grab my attention and then we watched the first couple episodes and then I got like we got like hooked on it and I was like oh my god like we can't stop watching on Saturday we literally spent this whole day it was one of the hottest days since summer started um, I think Saturday was like I want to say like a hundred degrees or more like outside and we're not used to these kind of like this kind of heat um, during the summer it's more like uh like yeah it's kind of like the heat is there but it's more like breezy and Saturday was just like humid and it was just ugh, like it was so bad like that night to go to like when we went to sleep no bueno like it was bad it was really really bad I couldn't go I couldn't like fall asleep uh, it was just too hot it was it was just too too hot and I'm just applying my Mac uh, studio fix just a little bit so I'm gonna apply it for my lids I'm gonna be applying the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the color eat it and I'm just gonna apply with my ring finger. Oh, I really need to get my nails done. <laughs> I really need to. But I love this like really light, like sheer pink. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna be setting um, that with a vanilla shade eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna contour a little bit and I'm gonna be using my crown 10 color contouring palette and I'm just going to be taking a combination of these two colors right here and I'm just going to let me see oh here it is I'm going to take the Morphe M523 
I never watched um, the, what's it called, Jersey, Jersey Shore show, uh, but I saw that it's, it came back where there's going to be like a reunion. I saw it on Facebook and I was like, what? Like, a reunion for what? Like, isn't that, wasn't that show over like, I don't know, 10 years ago? I don't know. I think it was when I was in high school. And it's always, it's almost going to be my 10 year uh, high school reunion, which, come on, like, <laughs> uh, I turned 26 and I was like, damn, where did the time go? Like, I, really, I have so many like fresh memories from high school that's like, ooh, such good colors. And I think I, it was like $10 that palette from Sham. I bought it, uh, Generation Beauty, I think. Let's see. For my blush, I'm going to be taking um, from MAC Cosmetics, and this is in the color, it's like rubbing off. It ends in E-R-L-Y, so I have no idea, but it's just your like very neutral color, pink. So this is um, Laura Geller's uh, Gilded Honey, it's just a really pretty golden color. And just to a little bit, it's so pretty. And on top of it, I'm going to take um, Love Light, Too Faced, uh, Blinded by the Light Powder Highlight, which is a little bit more of a champagne-y color. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set my eyebrows, and I completely forgot how amazing this gel, uh, gel is like seriously it's like it sets it actually like glues on your eyebrows and I, I I didn't rebuy it when I finished mine uh, I don't even know why and oh my goodness like it's so so good I really want to use this color pop eyeshadow this is a super shock shadow in the color Kathleen lights and I saw it on my collection and it's so pretty. It's like a golden, kind of like a coppery gold. Okay, I'm going to be taking this one right here. Really, really light brown. And I'm just going to place this one on my crease. So now that I am like restarting my YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, about me. So uh, I'm 26, like I said. Um, I'm always going to go to my uh, high school 10-year reunion, which is crazy. Um, I'm married. I've been married for two years. We've been to I've been together with my husband. It's going to be nine years in September. September 20th is our anniversary. His birthday is the 22nd. Um, my birthday is June 27th. Um, I'm a Cancer, which is pretty funny because I don't, I don't like the ocean. I'm really, really scared of the ocean. Um, and maybe that I can do like a little like story time video um, of why I'm like hella scared of the ocean. I work for a before and after school program. That's like my day job. Makeup, I started getting into makeup about, I want to say like seven years or so. Um, I started watching a lot of like beauty tutorials. Uh, one of my favorites is Nicole Guerrero. She's like my favorite YouTuber. Um, after that, I think it's probably Shanix O. Um, but yeah, those are the first, like, YouTubers that I started, like, watching. Um, and I started getting into YouTube, and, uh, I started by buying a little bit of brushes and just practicing here and there. I'm not even a makeup artist, it's just a hobby of mine. Um, but obviously the more you practice something, the more you bet, the more you get better at it. And sometimes you can hear me, I do speak Spanish, that's my first language. English, I came... Uh, to middle school and I started learning English and since then I've started here like throughout like middle school high school and college and makeup for me it be it became really like relaxing and I don't know I just enjoy enjoy doing, doing makeup and it's just something that I found a passion for it I'm going to take in a little bit of this one right here it's kind of like a really light like a brown with a little bit of orange in it to do YouTube I want to say like almost four years ago um, and like I said I wasn't consistent with it it was just fun for me and then um, it was 
I didn't have my own space, so it was just hard for me to film and stuff. So when I got married, I decided, like, this is going to be my gear. Like, I'm going to be a YouTuber, and I'm going to be consistent. And then I got moved jobs, and then it was just, like, life wasn't cooperating with me and my YouTube dream. So now that I'm here, uh, it's way easier for, you know, for me to, like, film and stuff. So, yeah. I'm just going to take the Kathleen Lights Colourpop uh, Super Shock Eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it with my finger. I'm just taking my ring finger and patting the color on my lid. I have a Colourpop order on the way, which I'm definitely going to do like a haul for it. Okay, to deepen my crease a tiny bit, I'm going to take a Sigma e uh, E25. And I'm going to take the one that's next to the uh, light orange. So this one right here. So how did you get into makeup? Like, how did you find a love for makeup? Are you like a makeup artist? I want to know you. I want to get to know you guys. Because it's the only way to like make connections. And like for me, it's something that I enjoy. I like making new friends. And I'm very like, I, I tend to be very uh, like an extrovert person. And I, I like getting to know people. So definitely comment down below, like, your name, like, introduce yourself. And so we can start, like, knowing each other. Obviously, if you have any questions for me, I'll go ahead and answer them in the comment section. I'm going to take the same color I used for my crease at the beginning. This one right here. And I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply a uh, cream color to highlight my brow bone, so that one right here. I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Just highlight. I don't like a shimmery highlight under my brow. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Do you guys have an eye that like waters? Mine is my left eye. I have allergies, uh, but I don't know why. It's like it always waters. While we uh, wait for that to like dry a little bit, I'm gonna start prepping my eyelashes. And I like wearing lashes every day. <laughs> I don't like I said. I don't do like natural. And by far, my favorites are the Salon Perfect Six Fourteen. Okay, so now that I let my lashes settle for a little bit, I'm going to apply my inner corner highlight. And I'm just taking the color Nylon from MAC. And then I'm going to take the mascara and I'm going to apply it on top of my lashes just to blend the lashes with my natural lashes. And then to apply on my waterline, I'm going to be taking the Wonder Pencil NYX uh, in the color Light. Now I'm going to take my lip color. And for today, I'm going to be using the uh, Buxom. This is just like a lipstick, but it's like in a little tube. And the color, I think it's Au Natural. Natural. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's going to be like linked down in the description box. this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there as always all of the makeup products that i use today are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and don't forget to also share this video if you liked it and until then i'll see you guys on the next video bye